I found exactly what I needed and it's still new got the barcodes on it I'm just joking around I had to buy this piece I know you're not allowed to talk in this genre of videos you're just supposed to quietly build away this is gonna go like this unfortunately I can't unscrew the uh, tap on there it's too seized
I had to go to the van to get some more sleep. About 5.30, mosquitoes started pouring in and I had to get out. I slept okay enough. Uh, there's a bug making these clicking noises above my head. It kept waking me up. I couldn't find it. But not a good place to sleep if you're squeamish about insects. The place is crawling with them. And the ceiling started sweating out all this sticky sap. I had to keep wiping away the drops before they fell on me. I got one drip in my hair. It's all clumped together now. That Rocco was a bit jumpy. This was her first time sleeping outside of the van. There was something big out there though. I think it was an elk. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I just slept on top of the sleeping bag until the fire burned out. I'd say it was just uh, slightly above freezing last night. And uh, we stayed nice and cozy. I have to come back when it's uh, actually really cold. So this is my first time ever building something like this, and I think it turned out all right. Uh, I learned a few things along the way. I think I should have used bigger diameter logs for the foundation. Chances are those ones are always going to be wet, and they'll be the first to rot out. The door is just uh, for peace of mind to know that you're not going to wake up face to face with a bear. you got some time to react before it rips it off its hinges. And I missed the perfect opportunity. I should have extended that bed platform out the front of the cabin. Then I could have had a bench there. And of course the roof is not watertight. That's going to leak for sure. I'm open to suggestions on that. There's not a great selection of bark around here to make shingles. And trying to make them with my chainsaw would be way too much work. I mean, I could just go buy a tarp for 10 bucks, and that would solve that, but I made a point of not using any nails or building materials so that when this place starts to fall apart, uh, it's just all natural stuff that will rot away, and uh, I can salvage that wood stove, use it somewhere else. I'd use that thing in my, in my van. I mean, it works great. It turned out awesome. The battery-powered chainsaw did a good job. I was swapping between two batteries. I never had any downtime with that quick charger. I was having to go for a drive every other day just to help top up my house battery but other than that there's a lot of benefits to a chainsaw like that I like the fact that you just uh, pull the trigger and it goes uh, if you just need to do one small cut you don't have to pull to start it and it's also a lot quieter I don't have to mix together the two stroke fuel and at the end of the day I don't stink like exhaust fumes I don't vouch for uh, one brand or the other I don't know what's the best you should do your research um, with that one uh, last week I pinched the chain I just tried to yank it out and I ended up breaking the, the chain tensioner screw. It was pretty cheaply made on that one. So hopefully I can get a replacement. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. It was kind of a, a different uh, kind of project this time. I've always liked finding these old uh, miners cabins way out in the desert. So to try to assemble a little something on my own uh, was a fun project. So thanks for watching. And uh, thank you to Patreon supporters. And I'll see you in the next one.